picture on my screen. Maya, sorry, technical error. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making an air fryer pita pizza bread that takes less than 10 minutes to cook. Using everyday ingredients with just a few minutes to prepare, you have a per sorry, uh, you have a perfect meal that is nutritious and satisfying and will not hurt the waistline. This recipe is adaptable, so you can keep it simple or load it with your favorite veggies and lean proteins. And because we are using the air fryer, it circulates heat all around the food, which means that your pizza cooks much faster than an oven because we aren't using um, any oil. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> What happened? Uh, no, it's just me. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, let's go back. And yeah. because we aren't using an air fryer, it circulates heat all around the food, which means that your pizza cooks much faster than an oven. And because we aren't using any oil, it contains less calories. So if you love pizza like me, gather up your ingredients and let's get started. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. All right, so guys, um, so like I said, we're using a pita pizza bread. So I just have two um, just normal pita breads that I got from the store. Um, these are normal size, they're not small. They're just normal, they're not the large ones either. Mm -hmm. um, I think these are about, what, seven inches or so. And I'm just using whole wheat pita breads. So, and the reason why I'm using the pita breads is because um, it is a little bit harder. So it does hold a lot of food. And I know that it won't become soggy. And um, it is less carbs than an actual pizza dough and less carbs than like a flatbread or a non bread, for example. So that's kind of why I'm using this. And one of these um, pita breads is about 130 calories. So that's it's actually pretty good. So what I like to do is um, I'm just using regular store bought pizza sauce. Um, I did the macros on how much this uh, pita pizza bread is and it's about 350 calories, which is pretty good, right? If you're trying to watch your waistline. So when you have that craving, this is my go to for pizza. Um, so I'm looking at the nutrition label here. It says a quarter cup is about 45 calories. So let's just, I don't know, drizzle a little bit. This is probably less than a quarter cup. You know, I'll make two, one for me, one for Jerome. How yes. does that sound? Perfect. Of course, right? Jerome, did you have lunch already? Not yet. Not yet? I'm waiting for this. Oh, you've been waiting for this? Yeah. I've been waiting for you, Jerome, so <laughs> we've been waiting for each other. Yes. This is what we look forward to every Sunday. And um, I'm part of the belly burn challenge. And so I'm, I am trying to watch my calories, right? So this is uh, definitely hits the spot. I, I'd rather go to a restaurant and get pizza, but this is just as tasty. Did you know that, Jerome? Yes. And because we're using the air fryer, it makes it really crispy, which I really love. Because I like my pizzas crispy. How about you, Jerome? I do. So I'm using some um, reduced fat cheese here. Mm -hmm. And this is two servings worth of cheese, and it's about um, 100 calories each. So, like I said, we're watching our waistline here, Jerome. We are. We are. Belly burn, baby. It is. You know what? We are encouraging others to, um, you know, to take on this challenge, and we want to set them up for success as well, right? Yes. So I'm showing you viewers what I actually eat to try to, you know, keep my hunger pangs at bay and, you know, try to eat the foods that I love and also get the results that I want, right? So. Mm. This is what we normally eat. And I love this for challenges because it's so filling too. Okay. And now we add our toppings. So Jerome, what kind of toppings would you like? Well, what do we have? Okay, so we have um, some turkey breast. Mm -hmm. It's just from deli style, right? Okay. We have some tomato, onion, mushroom, and some more cheese. All of it, please. All of, okay, so that's what I like to hear too. Um, and people ask me a lot, do you need to track your vegetables. Jerome, what's the answer? Yes, you do you not. Yes, you do. In short, the answer is, okay, short answer is yes. You do need to track it if you have goals to reach, okay? You do not need to track it if you're not, uh, if you don't have goals to reach. So that's the answer. So I know RJ doesn't track his vegetables. I do, I do, because, um, I have more calories to watch than he does. And, um, you know, everything has calories, right? And things do add up. So the answer is, if you have goals, yes, track your vegetables. If you don't, then you know what? A cup of veggies 
it's, it's so low in calories anyways, it's not the end of the world. And I mean, spinach, right, has next to no calories. A cup about, a cup is about, I don't know, seven to 10 calories. Did you know that, Jerome? No. Yeah, so spinach, I still track my spinach, to be mm -hmm. honest, I'll weigh it. But like I said, it really depends on what your goals are. It doesn't hurt to track it, in my opinion. And I have my scale here, and this is like, I use it all the time, and it helps me so much in um, with my goals, right? It just makes things so much easier. And I just weigh it, weigh everything. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually de-seeding my tomato. The reason why I'm de-seeding it is because I don't want my pizza to be soggy, right? So how about you, Jerome? Well, I like the seeds. I like, I like seeds. It, yeah, I don't like the soggy too. Yeah, I like seeds. Seeds are tasty. Uh, seeds add more fiber, actually. It helps, um, and the skin, right? Skin, mm -hmm. it actually kind of what cleans your pipes, let's just say that. So vegetable skin is good for you. Vegetables in general is good for you. Okay, so I just de-seeded my tomatoes. Um, what's, the, what's the order of layers? I always just watch how the guys in the pizza store do it. They always do their sauce, their cheeses, and then they do their proteins. So this is enough proteins for actually two, two people. And like I said, I did the macros on this ahead of time. It's about 350 calories. But um, as I mentioned earlier, it is adaptable. You can make this vegetarian if you'd like. You can add some rotisserie chicken if that's what you have on hand. Just any sort of everyday foods that you have in your fridge. I actually do have rotisserie chicken, but I thought, you know, why not? Let's just use this turkey breast. Okay, so I think that's good. Okay, so then the next layer is, uh, let's do some chopped mushrooms. And what I like about mushrooms is that um, it's not meat, but it kind of tastes like meat. Or it has that, that texture similar to meat. So I like to use a lot of mushrooms. Mushrooms have protein in there as well. It's good for inflammation. All around mushrooms are good for you. All vegetables are good for you. Okay, and then we'll add, uh, let's add our onion first. So I'm not tracking my vegetables today, but like I said, it doesn't hurt for you to track it. Okay, so we'll just chop this finely here and then sprinkle it on top. Oh. Sprinkle it like that, and look, it's it's already pretty heavy, but the pita bread can handle this because it is quite firm. And then we'll add our tomatoes, which have been de-seeded. I just used Roma tomatoes, but you can use um, cherry tomatoes. It's, it works pretty well also. Okay. And then I actually have, Oh, if you have basil, some herbs, that works really well. But we're just going to keep ours pretty simple. And then I have some Parmesan cheese. And this is cheese for two people. And um, what I like about Parmesan cheese is that you actually don't need that much. You just need a little bit because it's pretty salty already. And it adds so much depth of flavor. So we're just going to use a sprinkle of cheese. And this is each serving of Parmesan is about 50 calories. But we're actually going to use the whole thing because I measured it out. This is 15 grams in case you're wedding. But it it melts nicely. And look at that. Okay. Clean up, wash your hands. Now this is the best part. We're gonna put it inside the air fryer because it takes only like I said, what, 10, 5 to 10 minutes? to bake in the air fryer. Let's do this one. Oh. Hang on. I like to make sure it's neat first. Let's do the second one here. And you know, this is a nice, fun family activity. I know your kids, if you have kids, they would enjoy this as well because you can build your own. So I'm just going to... Um, Let's put it at, let's say, six minutes it's at 400. But we're going to actually watch this just to be safe. Okay, so while that is cooking, let's make a salad. Because you know me, I make friends with salad, right? Mm -hmm. 
Do you make friends with salad, Jerome? Of course you do, because you're in Neri's kitchen, right? So I don't know about you guys, but I'm so busy all the time with my two kids, full-time job. I have chores around the house too, so I always buy baked salad. So I'm just gonna just put a little bit in a bowl. This salad is for Jerome, actually, not for me. And then I like to buy these little tiny cucumbers because it's just so convenient. Let me just quickly chop it up. Do you like um, cucumbers, Jerome? Yes, I do. Good, because you're going to eat it anyways because yes. you're in Neri's kitchen, right? Yeah, salad's always good for you. Salads are good for you. And, you know, like I said, salads clean the pipes, especially if you're dieting and, you, you know, you might feel a little bit backed up. Just eat a salad. Work out and eat a salad and drink water. I feel like that's the answer to everything. Okay. And you know, we're gonna add some carrots because we got some fresh carrots from one of the members at the gym. Mm -hmm. Look how cute it is. See. Oh. Nice. So I'm just gonna peel this for you, Jerome, because you don't want to eat dirty carrot skin. I like carrots in my um, salad. It just adds, first of all, it makes it pretty. It's nice and colorful, and uh, it's good. Carrots are good for your eyes. It's good for your eyesight. Did you know that? Yes. I always tell my kids that eat your carrots because it's good for your eyes. So uh, Jet always eats carrots because he says it's good for his eyes, like I tell him, which means he listens to me. Okay, we're just going to put a little bit of carrot in. Oh, my gosh. So if you have a grater, use your grater. If you don't, you can always just slice it like me. But um, we're just going to do a rough top here. No, let's do it julienne. Yeah, like that. That's how they do it in the restaurant. Okay. What else do you want in your salad, Jerome? What else do you have? Do you want tomato? Do you want mushroom? Well, onion? We already have that on our pizza, so it's okay. You're going to eat onion. Onion, just yeah. You're going to eat onion because I have some ready for you and uh, it just adds a nice crunch. Thank you. More vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I actually had um, I had a salad at RJ's aunt's house and you know what she put inside? She put dill and it made it taste so much better. It was delicious. Oh, wow. Do you want dill in yours? Yes, or no? we have you that. do? I have, I don't have fresh dill. But I have um, I have dried dill, but it, it made it taste so much better. I'm telling you. Okay, so we're gonna add some dill. I feel like this is a secret ingredient. So obviously fresh is better, but if you don't have fresh, use dried like me. And then Jerome, tell me what you think about dill. Yeah, I've never had it on my salad before. <laughs> okay, what kind of dressing do you want, Jerome? Uh, ranch. Ranch. Okay. I have, uh, oh, I have two ranches. Which one do you want? Let's go for classic. Classic, this one? Okay. So, guys, ranch has quite a bit of calories. Make sure that you look at the, at the nutrition. It says 60 calories for one tablespoon. Jerome, you're going to get two <laughs> max, two max. Unless, oh, wait, did you work out today? Not yet. Okay. Well, you can get three if you want three. Okay, here's my measuring. You know me, you're in Neri's kitchen, so you gotta measure this for sure. Vegetables, not a big deal. Stuff like this, yes, so you have to measure it. You know what I like to do also? I actually like to add Lemon, a squeeze of lemon juice. Mm. You want some lemon? Yes, please. Good, because I have some lemon here for you. So a tip, guys, if you have some lemons and you want to get as much lemon juice as possible, make sure that you roll it to get all the juices out. And then you take your fork. Oh, wait, let's de-seed it first. Okay, yeah, you take your fork, stick it in, and then you squeeze. Yeah, let's give you more juice. 
make it tangy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there is your salad, Jerome. Thank you. Okay, let's toss this together. And look, this took me like what, three minutes, four minutes to make. It's not rabbit food, it's delicious food, by the way. So if someone says it's rabbit food, well, you make friends with a salad. It, it tastes, you know what, I eat so much salad that I just like it now. It just, it's just part of my diet, right? I don't think anything of it. Let's go and grab one of the pizzas. That took about five minutes. How does that look, Jerome? Wow, that's perfect. Right? Look at that. It was in the air fryer for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And look, it's all crispy. So let's pull that out. And there you guys have it. I, I just prepared a meal. It took me, what, 10 minutes or so? 10 minutes or so. And it's nutritious, delicious. It'll help you keep on track with your goals. Guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Um, let me know if you've tried this pita, uh, this pita bread pizza before. I know people have tried it with... Um, tortillas. Mm -hmm. I've never tried it with that, but I just love this pita bread so much. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye now. Oh my God. I was <laughs> losing my place. I, I,